Now I'm going to teach you some uh, ungaffed uh, sleight of hand versus the rising cards. Okay, I'm going to start off with uh, this one here, which is belongs to René Levant. Okay, and it will look like this. Let's see, watch. You just have one card rise right up out of the top of the spread like that. I'm going to show you how simple that is. Okay. Have a card selected and then uh, control it to the top, okay? You can use um, a spread pass or a side steal, anything anything you want to do here. Just use a spread pass. Brings the card to the top secretly. You're going to uh, spread the cards lengthwise like this, okay? Now your card is on top, okay? Well, what you're going to do is as you make this domino turnover, okay, your hand's going to, your uh, ring finger and thumb here, for your right hand is going to grab this and the top card and come back, and you're going to load this in a little bit, okay. Now what happens is, when you do this domino here, because of the way the card is, it's going to look like it rises out, okay. It's really cool production, so we'll do that again from exposed view. Spread, these fingers bring it back, and then you're just going to push it in like that. So it's just barely pushed in right here, see? So you don't want to do this towards the audience, you would actually, you would actually turn it this way so that they can't see it, okay? So it would look like that, like it's rising out. Now we'll do it from the exposed angle again. You spread, you come back and you just push that in. You can push that in with your fingers a little bit like that. So from an exposed view, you get the card rising up out of the spread. So that's a simple one. Now we're going to show you some more. Okay. Um, another simple rise that you can do is this one. Okay. You control the card to the top, the, the one that you want, and you simply rub like this. Get some static electricity. And you just go like this. Okay. Watch. Make it rise. Now I know what you're thinking, maybe I pushed it out with my finger, but let's see it's coming out of the middle. So I'll show you how simple that is. Okay, you control the card at the top using your favorite method. Uh, and you come back like this. You're going to move some cards back, just about a third of the pack back, and you just move it just a little bit. And you want to hold this so that it doesn't stick out in the bottom, obviously, right? So push the deck up a little like that. Now from an exposed angle, you're going to come back like this. And this is the reason to show that you're not going to use your pinky here. Okay, but in reality you're going to, because what you're going to do is you're going to do the old pinky gag, but this is a nice little subtlety. So once you get to here, your pinky's going to actually push this up and then close, so when you come down. So that's another ungaffed rising card. Okay, now we're going to show you a couple more. Uh, some of my favorite methods for doing the rising cards. Um, you, have, you have this one here, which you can do from the side, okay, and that will give you the illusion of the rise. Okay, you have uh, one where you have it on bottom, and actually, it's face up, and then you, this is the Ed Marlowe one, and then you rise it out like this, okay, and I'll show you that. You have that on bottom, reverse, you turn this over, you make a fan. From an exposed view, you're going to push with your pinky out here. It's going to rise up, and then you're going to push this into the fan like that. Okay, that's another one. And then uh, I'll show you one more good riser. And that is, uh, you're going to do one that's actually from uh, Expo Card Technique, believe it or not. I think it's the uh, Plunger Rise. And the Plunger Rise, okay, I'll show you that, is you have the card do a uh, bluff pass, so the card's going to be controlled, in this case, Ace of Diamonds. You control it second from top, okay? You control it second from top. So now when you begin to shuffle like this, cut off half the deck, you're going to go 
one, two, three. So what's going to happen is you're going to have two cards in jogged, right? Shuffle off and kind of turn so you can't see this big in jog here. So what you're going to do is this is going to go in between the pinky and ring finger here as you're squaring up and from an exposed, it exposes the angle on it, okay? When it rises up, it's going to be the plunger principle right here. See, it's going from the pinky. And the reason they can't see it is because this is bent and the fingers are, are going to hide this when it's rising, okay? And uh, this is the exposed view on it, okay? See, the plunger is going to rise up just like that. It'll rise it all the way out. And that's some very simple rising card, ungaff rising cards for you. Enjoy. Hello. My name is Darren Martino. How you doing, everybody? This is what I call the Surreal-Illusion System. Surreal-Illusion System. Surreal and Illusion. Surreal-Illusion System Gold Level, okay, is uh, for anyone, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced magician, okay, it's uh, over 77 video tutorials inside, and it's $97. The Platinum Level is going to be uh, all of the products into one and then every time a product is created you will not have to uh, pay you'll get all the exclusive videos so join now see you on the other side